What is up everyone? We are continuing the top 5 new brews of March on the Sheen with an interesting blue-white deck. Let's get into it. What is up folks? So we are a, a number 4 of the top 5 new brews for March on the Machines. And we have a spicy blue-white activated abilities deck for you today. Uh, so let's get into it. The deck is built around these two new cards that we got in the set, Omen Hawker and Fairy Mastermind. Uh, Omen Hawker is a one drop that is kind of like a Llanowar Elves, but it only works for activated abilities. And on top of that, it gives you two mana instead of one, which is something I don't think we've ever seen before on a one mana mana dork. Uh, so we're going to try to abuse that uh, in this deck. So how can we abuse it? Well. Uh, we need a lot of things with activated abilities to make good use of it. So we've got, first of all, this Surgical Spell Bomb, sorry, Skull Bomb, which uh, has this 3 mana activated ability to bounce a creature and draw a card. So we can reduce that to 1 mana with the Omen Hawker. Uh, Fairy Mastermind also has a activated ability. For 4 mana, you get to uh, both players draw a card. And because of his static effect, then you also draw a second card. Uh, and with the Omen Hawker down, then that it's reduced to basically two mana effectively. Um, we're also running things like Bankbuster, which is draw for two mana. Surge Engine, which is a pretty decent creature that gets better the more mana you pump into it. Um, so again, we're abusing the Omen Hawker for that. Uh, we're also playing Rona, the new card Rona, which uh, one of the big downsides to Rona was the activated ability cost five. But now with Omen Hawker, we can reduce that to three effectively. Uh, and if you can get a curve like Omen Hawker, then turn to Rona, uh, and then untap with that, I mean, that's maybe a little bit uh, unrealistic. Who knows? Depends on what deck you're playing against. But if you can get that, then as early as turn three, you can flip Rona into this 5-5 five five Trampler, um, which has a really strong ability to uh, basically get you some cards from the opponent's uh, hand that you get to cast for free. So very strong ability and 5-5 five five is hard to deal with for most aggro decks. Uh, so that's kind of one of the advantages of this deck. Uh, also Surge Engine has a 3 mana activated ability to turn it into a 5-4. That's another thing we can get as early as turn 3 to uh, flip that into a 5-4 with Omen Hawker. So uh, definitely it, there's a lot of possibility to make some pretty big creatures with this. Uh, on top of that, we are playing uh, this Lauren of the Third Path. We're playing Urza, Lord Protector. Both uh, of these synergize pretty well with our deck. Lauren is a solid legendary creature, so that synergizes a little bit with Rona. Uh, it also destroys an artifact or enchantment, which is solid just to have that effect in there uh, in your deck. But it has this you and target opponent each draw a card. So uh, if you get your Fairy Mastermind down on 2 and Lauren down on 3, then turn 4, you can activate Lauren and make the opponent draw a card, and then you get to draw another card. So uh, pretty sweet synergy there going on. You could even play Lauren on turn 3, drop the Fairy Mastermind on turn 4, and activate Lauren immediately to get the effect right away. That's probably the safer way to do it. Um, but yeah, pretty sweet combo there. And then uh, Urza, Urza synergizes really well with what we've got going on in the deck. It makes your artifacts and instants and sorceries cheaper. Uh, and we are running quite a few artifacts, Surgical, Skull Bomb, Bank Buster, Surge Engine, um, and also Might Stone, Weak Stone here, uh, which is uh, you know a very solid removal and draw engine, um, which works well with Urza. Um, so all of those are artifacts that we can make cheaper. We also got the Fateful Absence, to, uh, which can be reduced to one mana, uh, etc. And more importantly, Urza has an activated ability, which we can abuse with the Omen Hawker. So there you go. Uh, and then the last thing I didn't really mention was Fateful Absence. Uh, so this is a removal spell, which uh, gives the opponent a clue, a clue token that may, lets them draw a card. And the reason we're running four of this is because with the Fairy Mastermind, we don't really mind if they draw a card because it means we're going to also draw a card most likely. So uh, either they have to play around that or they're going to give us a free card. 
Uh, the last couple things, so Tezzeret and Wandering Emperor are just two pretty solid Planeswalkers that fit with our deck. Tezzeret also making our activated abilities of our artifacts cheaper, so Bankbuster, Surge Engine, uh, and the Skull Bomb all get to be two less. It also, we can do the draw discard effect of Tezzeret to discard one of the artifacts if we want to. Um, and then the minus two to turn something into a 4 4. We can make our Skull Bomb a 4 4. Um, you can make the Bank Buster into a 4 4, the treasure token from the Bank Buster into a 4 4. Uh, so there's a lot of stuff you can do with that. Uh, so it, it won't be dead. But um, I just thought that the discountability was kind of a nice touch. Um, and Wandering Emperor, good removal, solid Planeswalker, pretty much one of the best Planeswalkers in, the, in white. And it's just a nice way to buff our team a little bit, give us some blockers, give us some life gain, that kind of stuff. Um, I guess the last thing to mention uh, is the lands. We have a lot of activated abilities on our lands as well to go with our Omen Hawker. So we got Hall of Tagsin to make Power Stones. We got Mirex to make some uh, Might Artifact Tokens, which also work with Tezzeret. Uh, Plaza of the Heroes can make one of our legendaries indestructible for three mana, uh, which would be too cheaper if we have the Omen Hawker down. And then um, both of the channel abilities from Aiganjo and Odawara are also activated abilities, so those will also get discounted from our Omen Hawker. So everything really synergizes super well together, and um, we even have a lot of legendaries like Lauren, Urza, Tezzeret, and Wandering Emperor. And Mightstone, Weakstone, all these are legendaries uh, when you cast them. So they all work by, to untap Rona, which is very nice. So just give you a little bit of icing on the cake with all the synergy in the deck. Um, yeah, but that's that's the main idea of the deck. So we're really trying to abuse Omen Hawker, this one mana um, kind of Llanowar elf type creature. But we have a lot of other things going on with the Fairy Mastermind and with Rona and, and stuff like that. So... Uh, if we don't get our Omen Hawker, we're not we're not sad about it either. All right, well that is it for number four. Uh, we got three more of the top five new brews coming up this week, and then on the fourteenth we have the early access event. So hope you're excited for that. We're going to be playing pretty much all morning until the end of the event from six a.m. Eastern. Uh, yeah, so if you have your brews that you want me to try out, please share those with me in the comments. Uh, and also let me know what you think about this deck, the blue-white activated abilities. Good? Bad? Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for today. So until next time, see ya.